Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and this is going to be the July wrap up and stats video. As it has become the norm, my wrap up and stats videos are super quick, super informative, and super short for the most part, except for the fabulous slideshow that will be at the end of the video. So I will make sure that I timestamp all of the information that you need to know down in the description box. My Kofi and my PayPal are down there. Make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button, the like button, all of that good stuff. But that's not what you're here for, right? Yeah, no, uh, I don't know. We're here for the stats for July, right? So um, this month was kind of interesting. Um, per normal or per usual for me, I read a whole bunch of books. Um, I don't go over each one of those. That is what that gorgeous, amazing slideshow that I put at the end of the video is all about. It gives you all of the books that I read in chronological order and broken down by the week so that you can check the description box if there is a cover that you want to know more about and you want to hear the rest of my thoughts. But let's get into the stats for the month of July. So for the month of July, I read a whopping total of 40 books. Yes, you heard that correct. I read 40 books in July, even though it was kind of slumpy. Um, I consider that kind of slumpy. That breaks down to 24 audiobooks, 16 ebooks, and five out of that 40 were ARCs. For the star ratings, I had two DNF books, zero one star books, one two star books, seven three star books, 26 four star books, and only four five star books. So uh, you will find out what those five star books are plus one extra one that I just wanted to throw in there because I like to keep my top five as a top five. Let's get into the category that I am completely amazed with for this month and you might want to get your notebook out because this is the category that if you want to diversify your reading shelves and your reading taste you need to check this out. This is my Blackout 2020 section of this video. It's where I talk about all the black authors that I read for the month. And I'm just going to quickly go over them because we got a lot this month. Um, and yes, so I read Dirty Minds, which is book number four in the Lion and the Mouse series by Kenya Wright. Be My Always by Nia Authors. If I Break by Portia Moore. Almost Broken by Portia Moore. Beautifully Broken by Portia Moore. Shattered Pieces by Portia Moore, Dirty Desires, which is book 3.5, I believe it is, by Kenya Wright, Love's Recipe by Mila Nix, Quarantine Love by Samantha Jones, Love in Motion by Angela K. Parker, Quarantine and Chill by Kenya Wright, Gunslinger, Wolf, and Diesel, all by Lisa Lang Blakelin. For readathons, I am in a readathon slump, so I haven't done a readathon since I think what May sometime. Yeah, it's just still not really into readathons. I am going to uh, try and do one. Uh, I found one that was coming up in August, and uh, I'm going to try and do that. It's a short one, so it seems appealing and possible. Uh, Hopefully nothing happens. So we're going to do that. So on to, all right, on to bookish news. Season seven is in full effect for the uh, Read Me Romance podcast. Read Me Romance. Read, read Me Romance. And if you are not subscribed to them, they have a YouTube channel. Go check that out. I will make sure that that link is down in the description box. You can also check out their page. They have a Facebook group. I love this group. Season seven, almost two years worth of professionally narrated novella audiobooks offered and amazing banter between Alexa Riley and Tessa Bailey. They're introducing so many authors to so many people and giving them little snippets of their work, and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. They 
Read Me Romance is also doing a summer sort of uh, like reading a fun thing that goes along. So telling my age, which I don't have a problem with telling my age. Uh, you guys knew, remember if you were around my age, that whole Pizza Hut thing where you would book it and you would read and you would get a free pizza after the summer was over. And, you know, you could actually, I think, I want to say my school like did it during the year as well. But, um, yeah, free pizzas and stuff like that. I don't think they're giving away free pizzas, but the prizes for the participation and the poss or the possibility uh, for the prizes is freaking phenomenal. So go check out that video. Um, I will link that down there as well. You can find it on their face on their, ah, on their YouTube channel. So go to the YouTube link, look for the summer fun, um, reading fun video and check that out. Um, and I did a portion of the intro or sort of trailer for the read bliss channel so go check out read bliss i am a active youtuber over there that turns in different videos for them but if you're interested in all things romance that is probably one of the channels that you need to be subscribed to and if you're not on instagram i'm going to inform you that you probably should be on instagram but nana malone is doing this amazing amazing challenge which is probably the reason why i have so many uh books in the blackout section of this video but she's doing the brown nipple challenge and that is to uplift and support authors of color and each month she chooses a new author and she also has other authors that are supporting and uplifting other authors of color and things of that nature so go check out this hashtag right here, uh, the brown or brown nipple challenge over on Instagram, and you can find every post that has it mentioned, and you can find Nana's uh, page, and you know, check out her Thursday videos that she does where she talks, and you know, it's just so much fun to listen and conversate with her on the Thursdays that I can get into those and watching the playbacks and stuff like that. But yes, do that. Okay, yes. Bookish events, hello, COVID. There are no bookish events going on that I know of um, and that I've participated in. And now to my favorite part of all, of all in this video, is my top five reads for the month of July. One of these you already saw in my uh, compilation video, not mine, but the video that I do with all of my romance friends but we're gonna go over my five favorite books that I read this book this month and these are in no particular order just the way that I wrote them down we're gonna start off talking about Dirty Minds by Kenya Wright and like I said this is book number four this is Kaz and M's story coming to sort of this big conclusion and it was glorious and amazing and oh it was such a amazing, amazing ride. Like, I still, there's a fifth book, nope, sixth book that I need, no, fifth book, fifth book of Kaz and M's story that I still need to read, but I'm like holding off on reading it um, just because I don't want to let the couple go yet. And um, yeah. Then there's a whole bunch of spinoff books from the series for Kenya Wright. I'm just like deep diving into Kenya's freaking backlist. You guys may have a video coming soon. I don't know. I haven't decided yet of just like all the books that I've read by Kenya Wright because she's an author that you guys need to go read. You need to go read her. Yes, definitely. Um, I'm also going to talk about Kenya Wright's book Quarantine and Chill again because it's amazing. Oh my goodness, you would think a book set in the pandemic right now in quarantine times where our two characters get quarantined together would be kind of slumpy and kind of sad and all that, that stuff, right? No, no, not with this book, not with this book at all. So we have uh, one of our characters is a CEO and he is shutting down his business, but then he gets to his condo, finds out that his living girlfriend is 
not what he needs her to be, hasn't been that way, but finally catches her sort of in the act, and uh, he decides to go stay at his sister's house. Well, his sister's house is being occupied uh, by a family friend that he's known for a little while. Well, they get to know each other, and it is glorious. It is glorious, glorious, glorious The the person that is occupying his sister's home is an artist and there is artwork in this in the book there's artwork in the book now i will say there is some not safe for work not safe for people looking over your shoulder uh mature artwork in here but it is still glorious it caught me off guard <laughs> i had to make sure i wasn't getting looked over the shoulder but it was still glorious and amazing and y'all need to read this story and it's not a sad woe is me quarantine book it's gonna make you think outside the box and really want the love between these two characters and i just loved it oh so much oh so much next we have Teacher by Fiona Cole. This is the last book that I know of uh, in the Voyeur series. If you guys have watched my channel for any amount of time or seen me talk about the Voyeur series, you know that I absolutely love this series. And this story has some content warning for abuse, for suicide, uh, to suicidal topics, uh, and suicide. Um, not by our main characters or anything like that, but uh, dealing with the grief and things like that um, of both. There is some human trafficking topics that are involved in here and um, mainly about healing and things of that nature. But I, oh, and it's an age gap, age gap romance. So those are some of the content warnings that go along with this book, but I absolutely loved it. I loved the journey of our two characters. I loved the, how they got together, the things that they ended up like kind of fighting about, having a conflict over, and it was just so bittersweet. And I don't know what I would have done um, had I not completed this. And th this journey was just amazing. It's something, it is a series and a book that I would definitely pick up and reread just to have my emotions toyed with again. Like seriously, seriously. Next, we're going to talk about The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I was so worried when I read that, when I like picked up this book, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read this because it is so, so hyped. Everybody loves this book, and I now love this book. I adore this book. I definitely say check it out as an audiobook because the two narrators did such an amazing job at matching each other's emotions and feelings and everything like that. So if you don't know anything about The Flat Share, it is about two people that end up sharing an apartment and actually they're bed sharing. So they are actually sleeping in the same bed, just not at the same time. And for a good, good amount of the book, they are communicating only in notes back and forth um and I just really 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 enjoyed this book and finally we are going to talk about Frozen Sector by Anna Edwards and oh, this just showed me that I need more paranormal romance in my life this is actually the first book and in the zombie year 2099 collection you don't have to read any of the books in any order but this is a good book if you want to start the series um i have actually read like four or five books in the series now um and it didn't throw me off that this was the like second or third book that i read versus um reading in an order, what have you, if that makes sense. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, back to this book, right? So, we have had a zombie, apo blah, 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 a zombie apocalypse here in the United States and all over the world, as a matter of fact, and zombies are now the top of the food chain and mystical, magical, fantastical, beings and things are now living together this one is mainly set in the north hint hint think santa claus and elves yes 
there is content warning for cannibalism, um, vague rape scenes, abuses, things like that, torture. Um, so tread lightly because it is more on the dark paranormal romance side of um, the spectrum in my book. Uh, if you're not into dark romances, you may want to shy away. This is not a sweet, fun sort of paranormal romance. Um, but it does deal with fated mates and um, needing to be together, things like that. So yes, I was completely drawn into this story and the cover was fabulous as well. So that is my July wrap up and stats video. Have you read any of the books that I have just talked about? Um, if you have, let's discuss them down in the description box. If you haven't, let me know if there's something that you want to um, hear more about, but you can also go to the description box and get the weekly wrap ups because I talk about every single one of those books um, pretty much in depth to give a review, give a, give you my feelings and things like that of them in those in those uh, weekend reviews on Sundays. You can also skip ahead if you already know my in my exit outro type thing going on there. And remember, all of the slides are in chronological order and they're broken down by weeks so that you can go check out those review videos if you weren't watching the cards because I will pop some up there as well. Now, off to my outro. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. I have my Kofi and my PayPal down there. If you think I did an amazing job or, you know, worthy of a little bit of coin, a little change, uh, you can donate to me and this channel down there with those links. As always... Thank you for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.